Good morning students I am Mayank Tiwari today we will solve test number 41 of the general agriculture series so i recommend you to write down the number 1 to 10 in your answer sheet and please evaluate your correct responses at the end of this paper so student the first question in rice the opaque areas in translucent endosperm are known as student look at the question carefully in rice the opaque areas in a translucent endosperm are known as option a white belly option b ureoform or turf student uh, this second option you see ureoform or turf it is uh, ureoform is a major form of fertilizer nitrogenous fertilizer which is applied to turf in usa in gardens uh, particularly it is applied in lawns therefore it is called turf urea or ureoform so the correct answer will be white belly the opaque area in translucent endosperm and rice are known as white belly please students remember it student question number 2 is very important following submergence which of the following changes affect rice plant growth you have to tell when uh, you are growing your transplanted rice and uh, have submerged your field which of the following changes can happen in your rice field option a oxidation of mn4 positive to mn2 positive option b reduction of sulfide to sulfate option c decrease availability of native soil phosphorus option d none student please look at the questions carefully and uh, then look at the responses here it is asking following submergence which of the following changes affect rice plant growth so option a is given oxidation of mn4 positive to mn2 positive does oxidation happen in submergence no reduction happens so the first option is wrong second reduction of sulfide to sulfate reduction of sulfide to sulfate student does it happen no it does not happen reduction of sulfate to sulfide happens therefore this option is also incorrect option c decrease availability of native soil phosphorus does this happen in submergence no it does not happen because the native phosphorus availability increase after submergence therefore c option is also incorrect so the correct answer to this question is none student please also remember some of the important changes in submergence like submergence increase pH of acid soil and reduction in pH of sodic soil reduction in rock potential concentration of oxygen reduction of nitrate to n2o or n2 denitrification happens reduction of sulfate to sulfide resulting in sulfide toxicity it is called akoichi disease students please remember the h2s toxicity in rice is called akoichi reduction of mn4 positive to mn2 positive and fe3 positive to fe2 positive resulting in manganese and iron toxicity in rice reported from some areas of odisha please students remember it the reduction of mn4 positive to mn2 positive and fe3 positive to fe2 positive can lead to their toxicity increase availability of native soil phosphorus due to release of acute phosphorus please students also remember it student third question is very easy see depth of transplanting in rice option a 2 to 4 cm option b 5 to 10 cm so student what is the depth of transplanting in rice 2 to 4 cm student question number 4 you see leaf color chart consist of dash strips actually they will not give you lcc uh, they will not give you complete full form they will give you lcc so a leaf color chart you have to uh, see lcc is also land capability classification so <laughs> you have to understand what is is asking here it is uh, asking how many strips so definitely it is leaf color chart it was invented in uh, your irra philippines manila so it is asking how many strips does this contain Six or three to four. So, student, please remember it. This leaf color chart uh, contain one to six strips. Please also remember this that uh, if uh, fertilizer nitrogen has to be applied when the color of youngest fully expanded leaf matches number three to four. If uh, the number of leaf color chart is matching three or four uh, of the leaf, then fertilizer nitrogen has to be applied. Please, students, remember it. and leaf color chart is made up of high quality plastic material and consists six strips of different shades of green from pale green marked as 1 to dark green marked as 6 please students remember it this is very important student question number 5 you see solubore contain dash percent boron option a 11% option b 17% option c 15% option d 20% so student how much percentage of boron is present in solubore Here, students, please remember it. Borax contains eleven percent boron. Boric acid contains seventeen percent boron. Solubore contains twenty percent boron, 
and your colmenite contain 15% boron please students remember it these are very important student question number 6 you see Sikkim primitive is option A primitive maize option B cowpea so student in cowpea some of the varieties you ought to know in cowpea you have one variety Pusa Savni second is Swarna third is Pusa Sampada Durga Kranti Kashi Kanchan Gomti these are very important varieties of cowpea students please remember them Pusa Savni uh, Swarna Pusa Sampada Durga Kranti Kashi Kanchan Gomti and also remember Lalita and Shubra variety of cowpea so student is Sikkim primitive is primitive maize please remember it student question number 7 you see swine grass is option A Condopus didymus option B Penicetum purpureum option C Commonilna bengalensis option D Dactylosium so <laughs> student what is the correct answer the correct answer is uh, for, uh, for C question uh, option number 8 this Dactylosium Dactylosium is your Makara it is called in Hindi Makara Dactylosium option C you see Penicetum purpureum it is called elephant grass option B you see uh, Comalina bengalensis it is tropical spider wart and swine grass is your Condopus didymus it is also called Jungli Taratej please remember it or Taratej simply Condopus didymus Op uh, question number 8 you see seed rate of barley in rain fed areas you have to tell what is the seed rate of barley in rain fed area condition option a 100 kg per hectare option b 75 to 80 kg per hectare option c 100 to 120 kg per hectare option d none so student in rain fed condition the seed rate of barley is 100 kg per hectare in irrigated normal condition the seed rate of barley is 75 to 80 kg per hectare it is very easy to remember because it is more or less equal to wheat in rain fed condition it is just equal to 100 kg per hectare and in irrigated normal condition it is 75 to 80 kg per hectare and in irrigated late showing condition it is 100 to 120 kg per hectare so student please remember it this is very important and student please uh, remember one term I was telling you maize sometimes back uh, this gasohol gasohol is a biofuel it is a mixture of 10% ethanol which is obtained from maize and 90% gasoline so this is called gasohol please remember it 10% ethanol and 90% gasoline please remember it and student please also remember one thing maize is also called queen of cereals student question number 9 you see Pusha Vishal and Pusha Baisakhi are the varieties of this Pusha Vishal and Pusha Baisakhi student these are very important varieties you have to tell uh, to which crop does it belong option A green gram option B chickpea so student first see uh, the important varieties of chickpea Fule G12 G stands for gram Bharati Shweta Vijay Vardhan, uh, Sadbhavna, student this is very important, Vishal, again important variety of chickpea, Samrat is another important variety of chickpea, Surya, Pusa Chamatkar, it is a variety of gram, please students remember Pusa Chamatkar, it is a variety of gram, Pusa 1003, Kabuli Chana, uh, Surya I told you, Jabahar Grain 16 and Bevho, Anubhav, Akash, Asar, Abha, these are important variety of chickpea, this student Aparna, it is also a variety of field pea. So Aparna is also a variety of chickpea. Arpan, Aruna, and uh, this Sangam, Pusha, Shubhra, Rajas. But student, these varieties, Pusha Vishal and Pusha Vesaki, these are the variety of green gram or moong. Please remember them. Actually, do not remember all the varieties uh, which you find very important. Or uh, if you see the previous year papers, uh, what kind of varieties has been asked repeatedly from which crop, only focus on that. Option uh, question number 10 students you see helicot bean, snap bean, navy bean uh, or common bean is Litharia sativus or French bean. See the question carefully helicot bean, snap bean, navy bean or common bean. It is students French bean. So that's all for today students. I hope this will be useful to you. If uh, you want video on any specific topic or some of your exam is approaching please let me know. I will uh, try to include those topics in uh, my uh, videos uh, as these videos are dedicated to you only so if uh, any complaint with regard to any content of the video or any confusion in the answers given please let me know we can discuss so that's all for today students thank you